Today's video, we are down here on the Chow Praia River. We're almost in the Dusit district, and we're gonna go check out a fairly new construction. It was built in uh, 1307 originally, so uh, a little bit more than 700 years old. We're gonna check out, and I know I'm gonna tear the, uh, the name up, Watirat Kunwarihan, or something like that. Anyway, I'll put the description, uh, put the name in the video, and a, as much of the description as I possibly can down in, uh, in the video so you can read about it if you would like. Anyway, uh, let's go take a look. So here is the massive Chow Praia River. And right down here, we're standing on a pier and we're right next to the Rama 8 Bridge. You can see the Rama 8 Bridge right over there. And everybody comes over here. They're uh, gonna do some uh, fish feeding, make some merit that way. And uh, then we'll go up here and we'll walk through the little area over to the temple. And you can see there's just fish all in here. It's an important thing for the Thais to come after they go to the temple, come over here and make some merit. They have a little flower with like a little blessing or something like that on it, or a little piece of paper. You can see that they just fed the fish right there. This pier is pretty rough though. It's uh, you can see there, there's some holes in it. It's kind of rusted through and then they've stuck some wood on top of it. But uh, hey, it's Thailand, all this metal rots away. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go up through here. You can see here, they got some restaurants stuff like that built here on stilts and then you can go through here this is where you buy the uh, fish food and then they have lottery sales this is just a normal little community right here off of the river it has a little narrow alley where they'll ride the motorcycles down so here the people buy these little fish and then they can let them go in the river they also buy these little reefs and then right up here is the lottery sales we have a little alley kitchen right here, making some noodles. Hello. And then you gotta run the gauntlet of lottery salesmen. You can't go to any temple without lottery salesmen. And there's a few more than normal here. This is the temple complex. Now this was made into a third class royal temple by King Rama IV. And it was restored it started being restored by the sister of King Rama I. Now, I'm not sure what this is all about here, but people are in this queue to hang these orange flowers right here on this statue. And they put like money in its hand. And this building is closed off. This one over here is closed off. It has like a general purpose thing. Over here is a couple uh, things that we can see. Let's go look in it and then we'll go look over here. But this temple was restored by the Sister of King Rama I, it was started, and then uh, it was continued on by uh, Rama II, and it was finished being restored by the son of King Rama II. And it is in amazing condition. This is inside of one of the little buildings, and you can see how the styling is definitely a kind of European feel. So they're saying not to put any flowers on this Buddha statue. And I'm not sure what it is, it's just the Buddha with the alms bowl. They have a description of it over here, but it's in Thai. I'm not sure what it's about. And this is the little Buddha image that's right next to it. So this little building is kind of shaped like an L. And you can see the styling though. Rama four had a lot of European influence, Rama five. And that's what the feel of this is, is it feels kind of colonial. This is the little courtyard. So over there, they have like an Erewhon statue and it's uh, like the monk quarters. And then you can see these, they definitely feel and look colonial with a mix of Thai, like up on the gables and stuff like that. Okay, so let's go into this humongous hall now. They have a couple chetties out here and then they have the gate and then they have like a moon drop right over there. So you go through this massive gate right into this compound. And you can see they have the marker stones here. They've got a couple elephant statues. Over there's the jetty. 
and then this massive, massive hall. Wow, it's nice. So you got the mythical bird up there, and you got like the flowers and stuff like that in the in the little gable, and you can see the the Bangkok styling of this hall with all that detail work around the doors. I really like these temples. I love the white with the, uh, the red combination. And then I like the gold up on the front of the roof right there on that edge. And then you can see this one over here. This is that moon drop. And we'll look at it after we go inside this hall. You can see the gold up on the roof and another chetty. And then this outer wall with the gate. So you have like the, like the naga on the corners, you have that bird up on the top, and all the styling and the plaster work. So there's the date on that when that one was restored. So what is that, two, five, four, eight, I believe. That's when they did that last remodeling and it's two, five, six, six this year in the Buddhist calendar. So you can see that pediment right there. It has like the cotton ro rose design and the same as the front up here of this building. Now this temple here, this building itself was built under the reign of King Rama III. The prince, the son of Rama II, asked Rama III to help construct this building. So uh, this should be a really nice building. So take off our shoes and let's go inside here and see what this looks like. You can see them holding around the doors. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's got some huge doors that come in. And then this is the principal Buddha in here. So Rama III built a lot of temples or he restored a lot of them. I've been into many of his. And I made a video of the royal temple where he's uh, buried. And I'll have to pin a comment to it. Yeah, this is really nice. So this is the main Buddha. And then it has the murals around. And they're the Bangkok style murals. They're beautifully done, of course, like you would expect in a royal temple. You could see the, the doors. They have that black lacquer with the, the gold painting. Now they paint these by hand. I've actually seen them painting these before. A guy will sit here and he'll paint it from like top to bottom in a line and then he'll go across. It's quite amazing. You can see the details like the elephants, those are like half monkeys, and they have birds and butterflies. And then you can see the styling here. So this is pretty gruesome. They have a guy here with his intestines hanging out and the vultures eating him. And then the, the Buddha is standing over him. Looks like they're doing some restoration up there. And then the main Buddha is gigantic. And the monks will come here. This is where they do the chanting. You can see some more of the murals over here on this side. Yeah, this is really, really nice. So I believe that posture is the subduing Mara or like fighting evil. You see the umbrella over them. And then they have all the little angels and stuff like that up there. And then the red ceiling. Yeah, this is a beautiful hall. Okay, let's get one more look at this mural. And you can see the clouds and everything. And then that's the upper section. And then this is the lower section. So they have somebody over there feeding some deer. The people in the houses. And then this hand painted door. So back behind the ordination hall we were just looking at, there's a wee hand, but it's currently being renovated. So we're not gonna be able to go in there, but we'll be able to see inside of this moon drop. This moon drop was built in 1983, and it was built over the top of the old ordination hall. So that ordination hall that's there, there used to be one here on this site and they built this moon drop over the top of that footprint. And inside of here, we'll have uh, like a Buddha footprint and some other things from the Ayutthaya era. So you see the, 
like the little naga and the little angels, all of the things that you normally see. And you can see the hand carved wooden shutters right there. And then look at all of these Buddhas. So they have a statue here that looks like a Rama five. And then they have the, the principal Buddha. And then over here looks like a, like a relic. So you can see over there, there's the Buddha footprint and some other things. Yeah, this is a beautiful hall. You see the red styling on the roof. And then you can come in here and get a, like a blessing from the monk and stuff like that. Okay, so let's go out of here. Over here, these are the Buddha manuscripts. So they actually, they write their prayer on those little leaves. I've seen those quite a few times. And then I've actually seen uh, like a Buddha, like a monk reading off of those for uh, one of the ceremonies. This is a nice look at that styling on that moon drop. You see the prayer wheel up there. They put the wire mesh, the chicken wire to keep the pigeons off. And let's take a quick look at this little wee hand over here, what we can see of it. So I thought at first that was a rag. It's a cat, it's sleeping there, had his tongue sticking out. Oh, that's great. Super, super comfortable. Meow, kitty, 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 kitty. Just over here, found a good place to sleep. What do you think, kitty, kitty? Uh-huh, oh, are you gonna bite me? Oh, I know, I woke you up. So I came up underneath the scaffolding here. So you got the door locked up, but it has the, uh, the white exterior and the same kind of red up there on the eaves. And then it looks like it has like a faux basement here. And then it has like the marble steps. It's kind of hard to see. They have all this scaffolding up and then they have the little Chinese lions. And here's another one of those little chetties here in the back corner and then the outer gate. And these little buildings that are over here, and then this, this ordination hall. Yeah, these are fantastic. I really like these buildings. All right, everybody, so that's gonna finish up our video over here at this Ayutthaya era temple. And I, I'm not even gonna to try to say the name of it again. It's, uh, it's kind of hard to say. Anyway, uh, this is really, really nice. It's, uh, it's quite beautiful. The styling is nice, everything about it is you know, just top notch, but it is like a third class royal temple. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash like. If you know something about it that I forgot to say, leave me a comment down below. Or if you have any questions, ask me and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you've been here, tell me if you want to come or you have any other uh, things that you want to see, let me know in a comment down below and I'll do my best to uh, give you some uh, information about it, some directions or whatever. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. This is what I do. I show you things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. So if you like that, then definitely uh, stick around and you're notified when I post a new video. I show a lot of videos about Bangkok and Thailand and all of that. So if you like it, then uh, you're notified when I post a video and you can uh, see what I see. So until next time, from over here next to the Chow Prai River, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. <music>